Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I'm going to be reviewing Hit by Luke Germain. Before I do that, can you please like and subscribe? Check out carmagiccourse.com. That's my very, very cool online uh, car magic course, obviously, because it's called carmagiccourse.com. But we do actually talk about other aspects of magic in this live sessions that we have every week. We bring in other things. I've taught my cups and balls in there. We've done coin magic sessions. Uh, and you are learning from a pro, remember. This has been my job for many, many years. I've been a performer since about 96. So, um, so check out carmagiccourse.com, learn from a pro, and I'm sure you won't be sorry. The feedback's really great and people love it. So if you know someone who's a member, feel free to ask them what it's like, of course. Uh, so uh, did I say like and subscribe? I did. Yes, I did. And do the little bell icon as well. Very important if I do lives. I haven't done one for a while because of homeschooling and stuff, because um, of lockdown. But if you, uh, if you click that bell icon, it means when I go live, you'll get notifications and also notifications when there are new videos up. Let's get on with it. Um, this is a, uh, it's a, well, okay, so I've had this for a bit. I always say that, don't I? And I always like to know why it's taking me so long to get to it. Well, I've only released recently, but even then I, I it took a while to get to it. Now, I saw this, it's a little bit deceptive in a good way. I saw this as a gambling demonstration, okay? I didn't, I hadn't seen the trailer, but I kind of knew what it was. Someone had sort of told me what it was. And then I watched the trailer. I thought, okay, it's good. I, li I like it. I like the, the, um, the, the way the way it runs the way it works and it genuinely fooled me you know I didn't know I mean I could, if I thought about it I could think it could be this and this but you know thinking putting myself in the mind of a spectator I'm going there's just no way no, no. but uh, the thing that that concerned me concern being too strong a word really for it lots of things concern me at the moment that probably doesn't as much but you know what I mean in, in learning it is I have I have a little bit of a response whenever I'm presented with a gambling routine. Uh, my worry is that there's going to be loads to remember. Now that's fine if you're doing a show piece. If you're working on a piece for stage or a show and you want to spend the hours and hours memorizing it and getting it together and kind of making it part of your act, that's a different thing. But if it's something you just want to do every now and then, which is quite a lot of the magic I do is like that, other than my professional set, I don't really want to put hours and hours into remembering it. So is it going to be like that? The other thing, is it going to be maths involved? No, there isn't usually maths involved with a lot of gambling demonstrations, but some, some of them you do have to kind of go, all right, I'm going to think about this and this, and very simple maths. Um, I'm like Luke, he does say, and it's quite funny, in this he said um, he was quite proud of himself for, for making a trick where he had to add numbers together to make a magic trick, and, and that's in the making of the trick, not in the performing of a trick. So he's a bit like me. I'm not naturally... Um, comfortable with numbers, so any really simple maths, or even if I think I've got about that on top of that, is is kind of out there for me. Um, is going to be loads of sleight of hand. Now, I love sleight of hand. It's not that much above a, of a bother, but I'm putting myself in a lot of other people's shoes in that one. Um, and is it going to be boring? Is it because a lot of gambling demonstrations are boring, and they're boring because a lot of people don't understand the rules of poker. They might know them kind of. But they don't know that, you know, if you're going to do a routine with more than one person in front of you, you've got to make a sort of guess um, to these people understanding the rules. And if they don't, you're kind of in trouble. With this, and Luke has the same thinking, he has created a routine based on blackjack. And it's, uh, it's uh, almost, it plays like a poker deal, but it's on, black, uh, on blackjack. And the good thing about blackjack, as he says, is you can explain the rules in one sentence, okay? It's so the nearest to 21 without going over is the winner. So you've got it. it. It's really simple. So if you've got a load of people that don't get it, they get it within a second. It's like, who's going to be the nearest to 21 if you go bust? So it's still got that, that suspense. It's still got the drama of a good gambling routine. And there are plenty of ones that I wouldn't say are good, maybe fun to do, not maybe as fun to watch, uh, like many things. So it has the, the suspense of that thing of playing with the the space of are you going to win, are you going to lose in the theatre that comes with that. And that's also very important. It's also something that Luke mentioned on the download after I had written it in my notes, is that the first thing I realised about this, well, the first few things are, it's easy, okay? I wouldn't say self-working, because you've got to think about it, but it is along those lines. You, you haven't got to you know, you haven't got to be that, you haven't got to be doing loads of shuffles and that. Yes, he does put a full sh shuffle in at the beginning, but you don't have to do that. Uh, so it does, you are going to be able to perform this quite quickly. He has this idea of space. And once you know the premise, once you know the, the move of this, 
by move, I mean really in inverted commas. I mean, you know, once you know the, the concept of how this works, there is space to play. And that's what I really like about this. It's not really, it's yes, one of the presentations in the trailer is the, the sort of gambling demo and the you lose, I win thing, which we will talk about in a minute, uh, which is, is becoming the most boring catchphrase in the world. Uh, <laughs> oh, the Steve Ford, the guy that says, we will talk about that in a minute. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why I keep saying that, but I suppose we're going to, aren't we? Maybe it's psycho psychologically I'm, I'm trying to keep you in. I'm going to keep you involved. So, um, oh dear, I forgot where I was now. I've made myself chuckle with my, my tedium. Um, yes, so it, it, the, the, this whole sp thing of freedom. So you, you've got the gambling, you, you lose, it, I'll win, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, <laughs> and you've got, God. It's going to run for about 35 minutes. It's Monday. It's Monday and it's been a, a challenging weekend. There was a plummy incident and everything. Uh, but you can change the presentation. That's what I'm trying to get to. And this is, it's worth the wait because it's a big point this is. And you are going to be able to think of numerous presentations with this. Luke has two alternative handlings at the end. He has one where it's an open prediction, which feels very different, but it's using exactly the same thing and importantly, exactly the same setup. So you haven't got to remember multiple setups. Uh, he also has an alternative thing uh, with a, a, a pendulum and he does like a pendulum, Luke does. Uh, he performed at my show, well, he did his show, which I just basically hosted and it was, um, it was great. And he, he does some amazing pendulum work, if that what you call it, pendulum work, but it's, it's brilliant and it's amazing. And it genuinely is magical and it adds a whole other dimension to this. So my feeling is that you're going to get this, you go look at it, go, it's just gambling routine and very quickly, once you've learned it, and it's not going to take much learning, you're going to be able to start putting your own presentations on it. Now, we've got to talk about the you lose, I win thing. And I think it was a bit of a misstep in the trailer showing this because it made it look like that's the presentation. I have mixed feelings about this. I think you can do it and it can be very entertaining but it's all in the presentation. Luke again talks about this, which was really good to hear. I'm glad he did because he said, look, you can do, again, I'd written this down before he said it. I'm not patting myself on the back. I'm just saying I'm really glad that he acknowledges it. You can do the fact that you lose all the time and it completely turns it around. And I was thinking of a really nice routine because it's got multiple stages. You keep losing. You could be sort of handing stuff over that you're betting so you keep, you're giving him your wallet, you're giving him the thing and maybe you win it back at the end or something, but it gives it some more theatre and that's the whole point of this routine. It has theatre built in. It is genuinely good. At the last phase, you can get a, a, a fifth card involved that you put down and you can say to them, right, you take it or I take it. One of us could go bust. We don't know what the value is, but we'll still see and, and you know, it still works out that you win or lose depending on what presentation you do. It's... There's a lot going for this, and I was really pleasantly surprised. Surprised, I remembered it straight away. The setup, yes, you're going to have to put the deck in a certain order. Importantly, you're not putting the deck in a certain order. There's only a stack on the top, so you've got a number of cards, and then the rest can be whatever they are, as you were. But you, this is a sort of routine that you, because it has length to it. Um, you, you're not going to probably do that much with it, or maybe you are, it's going to, maybe it's part of a bigger show, but you know what I mean, you can start with it, you can clean up quite easily, you can get rid of things, all that kind of thing, if you want to go forward and do uh, stuff with this. So y y there's way more to this than meets the eye. When I opened it up, I thought it was going to be a bit along the lines of uh, Michał Kaczałek, sorry if I've got that wrong, his Polish poker that I, that I um, reviewed and very much liked, but it, is, it feels very different to that. I also thought it was going to be a little bit like the... Um, Stand Up Monty, Garrett Thomas, which I love, but takes, for some reason, that took me a lot of remembering. Even though it's based on one move, I, took, I really struggled remembering the whole process of that. One of those things that if I went away from it for a while and came back, I'd kind of forget. But it's only, not the actual routine itself, but just the, just the actual process of remembering it. This, just very intuitive, you remember it straight away and you can play with it. He said, you know, you can just do the first bit of the routine four times and it's quite a nice piece, you can have a laugh with someone. And a lot of people aren't going to be doing this professionally, you're going to be doing it with your mates and that's even better because you can really kind of take the mick out of each other and you can do it. I mean, I'm fine with my mates doing the you're losing all the time because it's fun. Uh, and, and I also thought about that thing of you losing all the time. What you can do with that is you can bring it on as a stage piece and say, can you, can you help me? We're going to demonstrate how you can... Um, 
uh, use suggestion, and that's one of the main you know ways of doing this, I suppose, is I can use suggestion to to get you to choose what I want you to choose without you even thinking about it. But we can demonstrate that to these people. So what's going to happen is you're going to lose all the time. But it's not me going, you know, you've lost. It's it's more about kind of us demonstrating something. So I'm not calling you an idiot. This is just how the thing works. Um, again, or you can completely reverse it. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Yes, the trailer, that's the routine the trailers showed, but, um, but there is, a, 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 like I say, um, a lot of fun you can have with this. And it's all about fun. Gambling routines need to be fun, and they have to be understood by everybody. And I think this will. It's a really simple concept. Now, you get these gimmicks in here, but he says that he prefers... He's, he's, there's two ways of doing it. You can do it with the gimmicks you get, and obviously that's, that's the great thing, or you can make your own up. And you might think, why would I make my own up if I get them? Well, you get them in Phoenix cards is one thing. There are a couple of other things you can do with your versions of them, and, of course, you can do them with any... any um, deck of cards at all so don't worry too much when I saw they're in Phoenix I'm like well I don't I love Phoenix but I've got my, mainly bikes so I go through them um, but I wouldn't have it would take me three minutes to, to like I said to make another deck um, talking about the the download there's a lot in this as well Luke does know his stuff we all know that and he's he I, I've seen his show many times and he's he knows how to actually perform it as well as demonstrate it so he does talk about ways of making the performance more convincing Every single move is justified. None of it looks um, like deliberate, like you're deliberate turning the cards over in a certain way. He's thought about the scripting, so he gives you a lot for this. It's not just, here's some tricks and some gimmicks. It's, here's some tricks and gi gimmicks. I'll take you through the handling. I'll take you some alternative handlings, and I'll tell you why things work as well as how they work, which I think is really, really important. So this does feel like a really, really fair thing. It feels like, you know, you're holding four cards. You're going, which two do you want? Are you sure? Do you want to swap? Do you want to swap one for another one? And you really don't have to know um, which cards are where. So it's it's just so fair. There's no kind of dodgy moves at all. And and I, I think it's it's really strong. It's really fun. It's easy to do. And I would be very surprised if you got this learning and didn't want to take it out and play with it straight away. Um, so that's hit by Luke Jamey way more than you think it is. I really, really liked it, and, um, and I'm glad I've had the chance to review it and look at it properly. Uh, so whatever you're doing, have a great one. Please like, subscribe, check out cardmagiccourse.com, and it's genuinely it's a thumbs up from me. Uh, as you might have guessed, thanks a lot. Have a good one.